What is up guys, it's Strides Idea and today uh, I'm making a video on Guild Wars 2. Um, today is Friday, uh, I happened to kind of screw my, up my schedule because of my birthday yesterday and everything. I didn't have the time to upload the video, so um, I guess it's uh, better late than never. Uh, so yeah, uh, today I wanted to speak about uh, a little bit of, of Guild Wars 2 and then a little bit about something else as well. So like that, you know, it wouldn't be just one topic every single video. Um, so, in Guild Wars 2, you can see I'm, I'm already level 20. Um, I started recording at level 20 because I figured, uh, you know, that's basically, you know, every 10, 20 levels I will record something because, you know, it's, it shows improvement or, or, uh, progress of some sort. Um, so, as you can see, I'm doing a run on... I'm not even sure what this is called actually. It's it's kind of like almost um world versus world, but it's with a bunch of side events and it actually grants a lot of XP. You're only allowed in um when you're level fifteen, I believe. And when I got to level fifteen, I was really like I was grinding out from I think it was level seven last video or around level six to level fifteen. And then on level fifteen I switched um I, I switched to uh this uh these events because they they supposedly said uh it, it takes around 15 minutes to uh gain a level or so so that was really that was really easy um and it actually did it, like i played for like two hours and i was basically level 20 or oh actually less than two hours and i was level 20 um and at the end of this video i believe i get like level 21 or so um so yeah uh that's that's on uh, the guild wars 2 side there um it, it's it, it's been going well i haven't gotten a clan yet i do have like a personal clan but that's basically just for uh banking and stuff just if, just in case i run out of space on the personal bank i can just keep upgrading the clan and keep getting gaining up uh, bank spaces on the on the side which is a pretty good uh pretty good uh, strategy if you if you don't have the money to to um buy bank slots or or you just don't want to spend money on guild wars 2 that much after you bought the game um so yeah so today what i actually really really wanted to speak about and it was because my friend actually asked me yesterday why why am i spending more time on pc right now than i actually am on console um well i mean it's not that i'm biased towards pc or anything it's actually that I, I, there's just a greater like i i don't know how to actually explain it. there's a variation of games that like you can just you know they're free and you can just try them and you you know it's fun and um and I I got a new PC basically uh, I, um, mid January I believe around there, and it's it's great man. <laughs> I I mean I never really had a PC with this gra with these graphics, and I mean I really want to thank uh, Lunatic Lunatic J. Uh, I can't even say his name. Um, <laughs> Lunatic J I D. Uh, he uh, he actually helped me on picking the parts and stuff for the PC. Um, so. So uh, I really appreciate the help and everything. It's it has this PC hasn't failed me yet, um, and I, I definitely am, am enjoying the games that I've gotten for it. Um, and the th the thing is that the reason why I haven't been going on uh, on console much is because I figured like some of the games for PC actually have the same feel as a console game, and it's not like <laughs> you know you just don't don't like kill me for this or anything, but. But like, if you have an Xbox One controller, I I know it's still console related. But if you do have an Xbox One controller and you play on a PC, for example, Shadow of Mordor or Saints Row, it's gonna feel almost the same, if not exactly the same, as a console. Like the button layouts are like changing everything, so like that. Instead of pressing um back or ESC or like you know escape for to go back. Uh, you just have to press it shows you the b button on the, on the screen so like that you can just go back and it actually feels like you're playing on your xbox the whole time so um so i, I mean it's it's just crazy I, I really didn't expect this from a pc and I, I think i might be coming becoming more of a pc gamer than a console gamer even though i do still uh play a lot of console now and then um i do have an xbox one if you guys didn't know i just i, I it's really hard for me to like record for that because i just I, I don't know i just don't feel like recording on xbox one it's just pc is just so much easier everything is so much like it's just accessible everything's so like all the programs i have them in a folder for recording 
it's so much easier for me. Um, so that, that's really nice to have. Uh, also, I really, <laughs> and again, you know, it's I'm I'm not biased towards PC. I've been a console gamer for like, I believe since I was like four years old. So, <laughs> so you know, I've been gaming on consoles before. I've been on PC, and I did have a PC before this one, and I did play games on PC before this PC. Um, so it's not like, oh, you know, you don't know what you're talking about. You just basically you have that fever where you just want to play all your games on PC now. Um, it's not like that at all. Uh, I have played, I spent around four years playing just PC games, um, consisted of World of Warcraft and, you know, all those type of games. And I spent a lot of time on Steam as well. Um, so yeah, and there was also a bunch of MMORPGs that I've tried. Like I have a history of MMORPGs, including one of them uh, named Nine Dragons. It was like a martial arts based, based uh, MMO. So like, you know, these are really, really old and... and Another one that um that's really really old is a uh, Two Moons or Decaron. Now it's known as Decaron, but back then it was known as Two Moons. And at the time it was made by um it was hosted by Acclaim, I believe, uh, with two Ks. Um and now I'm not even sure who actually owns the game now. I haven't played it in it forever and I probably lost my accounts in the whole um switcheroo of the companies and such, so so yeah, uh, if you really want to want me uh, to make videos on those, uh, like you know, on accounts I've already had, like I I even have a Maple Story account. I I checked on it, I, I believe, last week or so, and uh, I still have like a level hundred and something character. Excuse me. Um, so I mean, if you really are interested in watching those types of videos, I'm I'll be more than happy to make them for you. Um, currently I'm making, you know, one video a week and I do have a lot of free time. I'm just, I just don't, it's just hard to like, you know, find something to speak about. So, um, so yeah, uh, I'm getting off topic here again. So sorry guys. Um, so the battle between PC and console is that, you know, console, you're so limited to like, um, the graphics, uh, and uh, on the Xbox 360, you know, when you compare the PC to an Xbox 360, uh, both, you know, from their time, um, a PC would be able to run at 1080p. They would be able to run a game in 1080p. Uh, Xbox 360 wouldn't, I, I wouldn't say wouldn't, like it would say that it would run at 1080p, but um, it would usually uh, either skip frames or it would run certain games at 720. Uh, so that was really, you know, not that fun if you're really picky about graphics and I mean, I really don't care. I had an Xbox One. I have an Xbox One, and I still have my Xbox 360. And for some of the games, um, it's basically the same experience. In fact, I had a better experience in, on Advanced Warfare and on the Xbox 360 than I actually did on the Xbox One. So, you know, that speaks for itself. Now, um, the thing is that, you know, once you buy a console, you're not going to be able to upgrade it besides the memory, um, you know, like the storage. But you won't be able to upgrade it unless you take it to like a place just to like take out to replace uh, parts or something to customize it. Um, but it wouldn't be as customizable as a PC, a PC. You can basically just, you know, buy parts and just go crazy. You can put mine has led lights. There's very necessary, but you know, it just looks awesome and you can, you know, make it your own style. And it's just uh, amazing to, you know, to see what people have in, uh, as their PC and, it's great, you know, you you also can run, I know my PC is uh, capable of, I believe, running 4K videos at least because it's a, it has a GTX 980 graphics card. Um, but, you know, that's just, it, it's just preference. You don't really have to get a uh, that type of graphics card because it's more of the expensive side. Um, I, I believe it's, it's 500 and around $560. If you believe that's expensive for you, if you if you don't believe it, that's expensive. You know, it's your opinion. Um, so yeah, uh, I'm sorry, guys, again for not really uh, uploading a video yesterday. It's it's kind of bad planning. I should have done the video on Tuesday or Wednesday and then just put it uh, pre-recorded on YouTube and then uploaded it by itself. Um, that would have been a better idea, but you know, I didn't think that through. I, I, I thought I was going to have the day off tomorrow since I usually don't do anything, uh, for, for birthdays and, um, 
I don't know, <laughs> and just some plans came up, and I, <laughs> I really thought I was going to be able to make the video yesterday and just upload it yesterday. Um, I do, I don't record everything on the same day. If you guys think he's, uh, I, I'm a procrastinator. I go out through the week and I record a few things, and then I pick out whatever is best from from what I did, and I will put that uh, um, on YouTube, and you know, hopefully it starts working out for us here on, on in CGL. And uh, thank you guys for watching. If you liked the video, leave a thumbs up. If you disliked it, leave a thumbs down and a comment why you disliked it. Um, also, you can leave a comment on any opinions that you have, any criticisms. I'd be able to... I, I read all the comments um, if you were to put them, of course. Uh, so uh, thank you guys for watching.